Hello everyone, Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale. A lot to talk about with this forecast as we see a lull in the rain turn back into widely scattered showers by the end of the week. We're also noting the red tide forecast as a plume of red tide makes its way south-southwest along the Texas coast heading toward the Rio Grande Valley. The results could be coughing, wheezing, watery red eyes, and of course those unsightly fish kills that can happen with the red tide as well. And that's expected to get worse as the week wears on into the weekend. The forecast for the weekend does include, of course, the threat of red tide as well. Temperatures in the upper 80s, lots of clouds and scattered showers and thunderstorms. The lull from rain will be over. The lunar double whammy, we have the supermoon and partial lunar eclipse combo that will turn the moon blood red and make it look 14% bigger. That's for Sunday evening starting about 8 o'clock. As far as the tropics, we have a developing low off the U.S. east coast that will stay that way. No tropical threats to the valley at all, even though tropical storm Ida continues to churn out in the Atlantic. We are looking for developing low pressure over the Yucatan by the early part of next week, but as you can see, demonstrated by the color contour layer here, showing the greens and the blues, that represents upper level shear, or winds that destroy tropical development. It looks like we're pretty well protected from any future development. So that low will develop in a pocket or absence of shear over the Yucatan, and then it's liable to just be kind of ripped apart as it moves on into the Gulf. We'll keep an eye on it, though. Futurecast runs you through Wednesday and Thursday with only the slightest chance on Wednesday and basically Thursday as well, but I'm counting on mostly clear conditions for Thursday, and then into Friday we'll start to see the chance for rain ramp back up. I think Futurecast is a little bit too, uh, too conservative on that. I'm going to go with a better chance for a rain myself on into the weekend. We have developing upper level low pressure that's going to really help aid shower development by the end of the week through the weekend around the Rio Grande Valley. That's a look at your storm tracker forecast.